So in this video, we are going to learn how to multiply matrices of the same order or size. We'll be focusing more on multiplication of 2 by 2 matrices as well as multiplication of 3 by 3 matrices. Now given two matrices, say A and B, let's assume that we have matrix A to have elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and we also have matrix B having elements 5, 6, 7, 8. Now the order of matrix A is 2 by 2 because it has 2 rows and then 2 columns. Also for matrix B, the order of matrix B is also 2 by 2 because it also has two rows and then two columns. Now to multiply two matrices, you need to make sure that the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Now if these two numbers are the same, then you can multiply the two matrices. So always in multiplying matrices, you need to make sure that the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Now, if that is the case, then we say that the two matrices are compatible under multiplication. So what happens if the two values are not the same? Now, if the two values are not the same, then it means that you cannot multiply those two matrices. Now, what do you think will be the order of the resultant matrix? So the order of the resultant matrix, that is after multiplying these two matrices, you have A times B. So that is the resultant matrix. Now the order of this resultant matrix is given by the number of rows of the first matrix, which is 2, by the number of columns of the second matrix, and that is also 2. Therefore, if you multiply a 2 by 2 matrix, by another 2 by 2 matrix, then the resulting matrix is also 2 by 2. So basically these are some rules that govern multiplication of matrices and this also helps you to know the order of the resulting or the product matrix. So having this in mind, let's try some examples. So for example 1, given that matrix A is 2 root 2, 6, 4, negative 9, matrix B, 3, 4, negative 2, root 2, and then matrix C, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and then 0. We are going to find A, matrix A times B, B, matrix A times C, and then C, matrix B times C. So how do we multiply A, B, AC and then BC. Let's start off with AB. So we have matrix A to be 2 root 2, 6, 4, negative 9 times matrix B, which is 3, 4, negative 2, root 2. Now in multiplying matrices, we are going to multiply row 1 of the first matrix, that is row 1 of matrix A, by column 1 and column 2 of matrix B. So basically we are going to multiply each element of row 1 of matrix A by each element of column 1 and column 2 of matrix B. Now the values we are going to obtain are going to fill the first row of the resulting matrix. So after multiplying row 1 of matrix A by column 1 and column 2 of matrix B, we are also going to multiply row 2 of matrix A by column 1 and column 2 of matrix B. So let's do that together. So we have 2 root 2 times 3 and that is 6 root 2 plus 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Next, let's move on to column 2. 
2 root 2 times 4 is 8 root 2. 6 times root 2 is 6 root 2. Now let's move on to row 2 by column 1 and column 2. 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 9 times negative 2 is 18. 4 times 4 is 16. And then negative 9 times root 2 is negative 9 root 2. Now let's simplify each element of the matrix. So we can simplify 6 root 2 plus negative 12 to be negative 12 plus 6 root 2. 8 root 2 plus 6 root 2 becomes 14 root 2. 12 plus 18 is 30. And then we have 16 minus 9 root 2. So this is the resulting matrix after multiplying matrix A and matrix B. Now let's move on to B. We have A times C. So we have matrix A to be 2 root 2, 6, 4, negative 9 times matrix C, which is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So we multiply row 1 of matrix A by column 1 and column 2 of matrix C. 2 root 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 root 2. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. So that becomes plus negative 6. 2 root 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 root 2. And then 6 times 0 is 0. Now to row 2. 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12. Negative 9 times negative 1, that is plus 9. 4 times negative 2, and then we have negative 8. And then negative 9 times 0 is 0. So this becomes negative 6, that is negative 6, minus 6 root 2 and then negative 4 root 2 negative 12 plus 9 becomes negative 3 and then we have negative 8 now let's move on to c so that is b times c we have matrix b to be 3, 4, negative 2, root 2, times matrix C, which is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So we are going to multiply row 1 by column 1 and column 2. Now 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, 4 times negative 1, that is negative 4. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. 4 times 0 is 0. Now to row 2. Negative 2 times negative 3, that is 6. Root 2 times negative 1 is negative root 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is plus 4. And then root 2 times 0 is 0. So we can simplify this as negative 9 plus negative 4. That is negative 13. Negative 6 plus 0. Negative 6. Then this becomes 6 minus root 2. And then lastly we have 4 plus 0 which is 4. So basically this is how to multiply 2 by 2 matrices. Now let's move on as we solve some examples on multiplication of 3 by 3 matrices. So let's continue with question 2. At this point, we are going to learn how to multiply 3 by 3 matrices. So given that P is 1, 2, 5, 
4 negative 7, 2 negative 9, 1, 6. We have metric scale. Root 2, negative 3, 0, 1, negative 2, 5, negative 3, 1, 1. And then R, that is 0, 1, 0, 3, 5, 2, 6, 1, 8. Now we are going to find A, P times Q, and then B, Q times R. So let's try to solve this together. So for A, we have matrix P times matrix Q. Now matrix P is given by, or is given as 1, 2, 5, 4, negative 7, 2, negative 9, 1, 6. And we are going to multiply this by matrix Q which is root 2, negative 3, 0, 1, negative 2, 5, negative 3, 1, 1. So let's try to multiply these two matrices. So like we did for the multiplication of 2 by 2 matrices, we are going to repeat the same idea here. We are going to multiply each element of row 1 of matrix P by each element of column 1, column 2, and column 3 of matrix Q. And then we are going to repeat same for row 2 and then row 3. So let's do the multiplication together. So we have 1 times root 2, which is root 2, 2 times 1, which is 2, and then 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. Or better still, you can write plus negative 15. Next, we have column 2. So 1 times negative 3, that is negative 3. 2 times negative 2, negative 4. 5 times 1, that is 5. Now to column 3. 1 times 0 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10, and then 5 times 1 is 5. Now let's move on to root 2. So 4 times root 2 is 4 root 2, negative 7 times 1, we have negative 7, 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. To column 2 4 times negative 3 that is negative 12 negative 7 times negative 2 is 14 and then 2 times 1 is 2 now to column 3 4 times 0 is 0 negative 7 times 5 is negative 35 and then 2 times 1 is 2 now to row 3, negative 9 times root 2 is negative 9 root 2. 1 times 1, that is 1. And then 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Negative 9 times negative 3, that is 27. 1 times negative 2, negative 2. And then 6 times 1 is 6. Negative 9 times 0 is 0, 1 times 5, that is 5, and then 6 times 1 is 6. Now let's simplify this matrix. 2 minus 15 is negative 13, so we have negative 13 plus root 2. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. 10 plus 5, that is 15. Negative 7 minus 6 is negative 13. So we have negative 13 plus 4 root 2. Negative 12 plus 14 is plus 2. And then plus 2 is 4. Negative 35 plus 2 is negative 33. 
1 minus 18 is negative 17. So we have negative 17 minus 9 root 2. 27 minus 2 is 25. 25 plus 6 is 31. And then 5 plus 6 is 11. So P times Q is equal to negative 13 plus root 2, negative 2, 15, negative 13 plus 4 root 2, 4, negative 33, negative 17 minus 9 root 2, 31, 11. Now let's solve for B, Q times R. So for B, that is Q times R. We have Q to be root 2, negative 3, 0, 1, negative 2, 5, negative 3, 1, 1, times R. We have R to be 0, 1, 0, 3, 5, 2, 6, 1, 8. Now let's multiply these two matrices. So we are going to multiply row 1 by column 1, 2, 3. And then we are going to repeat for row 2 and row 3 of matrix Q. So we are going to multiply row 1 by column 1, 2, and then 3. Root 2 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 0 times 6 is 0 now let's move on to column 2 root 2 times 1 that is root 2 negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 0 times 1 is 0 now let's move on to column 3 we have root 2 times 0 that is 0 negative 3 times 2 that is negative 6 and then 0 times 8 is 0 now let's move on to row 2 so for row 2 we have 1 times 0 that is 0 negative 2 times 3 that is negative 6 5 times 6 that is 30 1 times 1 is 1, negative 2 times 5, that is negative 10, 5 times 1 is 5, 1 times 0 is 0, negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4, 5 times 8 is 40. Now to row 3, we have negative 3 times 0, that is 0. 1 times 3, 3, and then 1 times 6 is also 6. Negative 3 times 1, that is negative 3. 1 times 5, we have 5, and then 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 3 times 0, we have 0. 1 times 2, that is 2, and then 1 times 8 is also 8. Now let's simplify the elements we have in here. So this becomes negative 9 and then we have negative 15 plus root 2. This becomes negative 6. Negative 6 plus 30 that is 24. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 minus 10 is negative 4 negative 4 plus 40 that is 36 3 plus 6 is 9 5 plus 1 is 6 6 minus 3 is 3 and then 2 plus 8 is 10 so this is the resulting matrix of Q times R so basically that's how to multiply 3 by 3 matrices